This cozy meal is perfect for winter. Rich, meaty short ribs braised in a red wine sauce that cooks all day in your slow cooker or your oven. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with the Suburban Soapbox and today we are making red wine braised slow cooker short ribs. I'm gonna show you both ways to make these in the oven and the slow cooker. But first, all you're going to need are the following ingredients. We have beef short ribs, which are actually cut. These are bone-in short ribs, and they're cut short. These are English cut short ribs. And they're meaty and thick, and they have a high fat content. They need that liquid braising method to break down the meat and make them rich and tender and melt in your mouth juicy. You're also going to need some beef stock, a little bit of olive oil, tomato paste, seasoning, some garlic cloves, flour, diced tomatoes, some chopped vegetables like onions and carrots. You can add celery if you like. Some fresh herbs. I have rosemary, bay leaves, and thyme. And red wine. So you're not really gonna use a lot of red wine, but the red wine gives it a lot of richness and a background flavor that's like perfect with short ribs. So I touch that short rib, wash your hands, and then you can start. We're going to add the flour to a bowl. And the flour is to dredge our short ribs in. Dredging your short ribs actually helps enhance the browning and creates a really nice crust on your short ribs. This adds so much flavor to your short rib recipe. Do not skip this part. I know it's tempting to just throw everything into your slow cooker or your Dutch oven, but you really wanna build on the flavor here to really maximize the meatiness of your short ribs. So we're gonna put the seasoning, whatever seasoning you're using, salt, pepper, whatever, garlic powder, garlic granules, and we're gonna whisk that together. You never wanna just dredge your meats in just regular flour. You always wanna add some kind of seasoning. So you're going to dredge each short rib in your flour. You just wanna coat every side of your short rib with the flour. And then in a heated pan with a little bit of olive oil, you're going to add your short ribs to the pan and brown your short ribs on all sides. So short side, long side, skinny side, every side you wanna kind of seal in any of the juices and the moisture in your short rib by sealing it with the sear. Once your short ribs are brown, we're gonna take them out of the pan and you're gonna drain off all but about two tablespoons of the fat that is left in the pan. To the pan, at this point, you're going to add your onions and carrots and just saute them until they start to soften up. And then add in your garlic and your tomato paste. We're then gonna saute the vegetables with the tomato paste until that tomato paste turns a dark, deep red. And then, at this point, we're going to add the red wine to deglaze your pan. Deglazing the pan is just to lift up all the brown bits that are on the bottom of your pan. You do this by adding the red wine and then scraping up all of the goodness that was left behind from your short ribs and your vegetables. All of those brown bits are called fond and they add flavor. The more fond, the more flavor. Don't leave it behind in your pan. At this point, we're going to add our diced tomatoes and then we're ready to add everything to the slow cooker. So our vegetables are all sauteed and we have the wine in the pan and the tomatoes. Pam's getting a little full, so I held off on our beef stock. So you can add that to the pan if you have a deeper sided pan, or you can just add it to the slow cooker. It really doesn't matter too, too much. Now, just real quick, if you do not have a slow cooker or you do not wanna use a crock pot, slow cooker, or whatever, you can do all of this in a Dutch oven, like a deep sided stock pot type cast iron, whatever you have to roast like a roast, you can do this in that, in the oven. So you would just brown everything in there, transfer it out as I did here, and then saute all your vegetables in that pot. Take your meat back into the pot, add your bay leaves and any other aromatics that you wanna add, add your beef stock, pop it in the oven at 300 degrees, 
and then you're going to braise it in the oven covered for about three hours, just until your short ribs become like tender and fall, they kind of fall off the bone a little bit. And then you're good. To do it in the slow cooker, all we're going to do, we're gonna add all of the vegetables to the slow cooker. Just give that a stir to make like a nice little bed for your short ribs. So now you're gonna transfer all of the short ribs and just kind of nestle them down in there with the bone side up. And this will make sure that all of the meat is submerged in your liquid. And that will ensure a tender, juicy, melt in your mouth short rib. And now we're gonna pour the beef stock on top of that. And the key here is to make sure that your short ribs are pretty much submerged so the bone can stick out, but you wanna make sure that you have enough stock and wine and everything in there to cover. If this is not enough beef stock, you can certainly add more. That's perfect. And now I'm gonna add my two bay leaves. Just plop them in right on top. And my thyme is like all straggly. We'll just add as much as we can. And then I like to add a few sprigs of whole rosemary, not chopped up. And then we're gonna cover it and cook it on high for six to eight hours. And at that point, you can just go about your day and then dinner will be ready for you when you're ready. Our short ribs are done and I cannot wait to check these out. They are incredible. You can see that they're already like falling off the bone. Let's plate them up. So dredging your short ribs in the flour definitely helps thicken up the sauce. How amazing does that look? And then I left some of the garlic whole. You can definitely mince it up, but I left some whole pieces because I love to smash them on like a piece of crusty bread and then dip it in the sauce. This is like the coziest dinner ever. Would be easier to get your vegetables out with a slotted spoon. just fell right off. So amazing. Mm. It is so rich and just literally melts in your mouth. I cannot even emphasize that enough. It is so, so flavorful and super easy. If you like this recipe, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.